माई सेल्फ डॉक्टर विभूति दत्त सिंह पी जी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ जोलॉजी डी ए वी पी जी कॉलेज सिवान बिहार टूडे वी आर गोइंग टू टॉक अबाउट क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ प्लेटी हेलमेंथिस दिस टॉपिक इज इम्पॉर्टेंट फॉर बी एस सी पार्ट फर्स्ट जोलॉजी ऑनर्स दिस एनर्जेटिक एंड पोटेंशियल टॉपिक इंक्लूड्स द पॉइंट नंबर वन मॉर्फोलॉजिकल एडवांसेस ऑफ प्लेटी हेलमेंथिस पॉइंट नंबर टू फाइलोजेनेटिक सिग्निफिकेंस ऑफ प्लेटी हेलमेंथिस पॉइंट नंबर थ्री जनरल कैरेक्टर्स ऑफ प्लेटी हेलमेंथिस पॉइंट नंबर फोर लार्वल फॉर्म्स ऑफ प्लेटी हेलमेंथिस इंट्रोडक्शन एक्चुअली द साइंटिफिक स्टडी ऑफ प्लेटी हेलमेंथिस इज कॉल्ड प्लेटी हेलमेंथोलॉजी एरिस्टोटल मैंसन्स टाइप वॉर्म्स बट साइंटिफिक स्टडी ऑफ फ्लैट वॉर्म्स ओनली इन एटीन सेंचुरी द टर्म प्लेटी हेलमेंथिस डिराइव फ्रॉम ग्रीक वर्ड प्लेटिस ऑफ फ्लैट प्लस हेलमिन्स वॉर्म द टर्म प्लेटी हेलमेंथिस वॉज फर्स्ट प्रपोज बाई जिजनवर एटी हंड्रेड फिफ्टी नाइन फॉर द फ्लैट वॉर्म्स प्लेटी हेलमेंथिस आर फ्री लिविंग एंड सिम्बायोट्रॉफिक फ्लैट वॉर्म्स दे मे बी डिफाइंड एज ए सिलोमेट ट्रिप्लो ब्लास्टिक बाई सिमेट्रिकल वॉर्मी फॉर्म डर्सो वेंट्रली फ्लैटेंड ऑर्गेनिजम्स डिवाइड ऑफ ए डेफिनेट एन एस विदाउट एसक्लेटन सिस्टम रेस्पेक्टर सिस्टम एंड सर्कुलेटरी सिस्टम विद फ्लैम सेल्स और प्रोटोनिफ्रीडिया एंड विथ मिजन कैमल सेल्स रेस्पायरेटरी म्यूजोडर्म्स एंड फिलिंग ऑफ स्पेसिस एंड बिटवीन वेरियस ऑर्गन्स अबाउट टेन थाउजेंड स्पेसिस नॉन इन फाइलम प्लेटी हेलमेंथिस नेक्स्ट स्लाइड मॉर्फोलॉजिकल एडवांसेस ऑफ प्लेटी हेलमेंथिस प्लेटी हेलमेंथिस शोस एंड एडवांसमेंट ओवर द प्रीवियस मेटाजोन्स फाइलम सिलेंट्रेटा एंड टीनोफोरा इन द फॉलोइंग रेस्पेक्ट पॉइंट नंबर वन टिशूज ऑर्गेन लेवल ऑफ ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पॉइंट नंबर टू ट्रिपलो ब्लास्टिक बॉडी एंड थ्री जर्म्स लेयर्स मिजोडर्म एक्टोडर्म मिजोडर्म एंड इंडोडर्म्स पॉइंट नंबर थ्री सिमेट्री डेफिनेटली बायोलेट्रल एट द लोएस्ट लेवल पॉइंट नंबर फोर a definite head and tail point number 5 mesodermal muscles and bundles and layers point number 6 complex and efficient gastrovascular cavity point number 7 nervous system with large anteriorly situated ganglia and nerve cords running along the body point number 8 better developed sensory organs point number 9 internally situated gonads with permanent gonoducts and copulatory structures point number 10 behavior organization through learning now come back the phylogenetic significance of platy helminthes the phylogenetic or phylogenetic tree or evolutionary tree is a branching diagrams or tree showing the evolutionary relationship among various biological species or other entities their phylogeny based upon similarities and differences in their physical or genetic characteristics platyhelminthes or flatworms are supposed to have 
evolved from sulentrate like ancestor which underwent a change from radial to bilateral symmetry sulentrate ancestor was like a planular larva as primitive asexual worms shared many features with planula such as point of one absent of epidermal basement membrane point of two absent of excretory organs point of three absent of gonads so the trematodes are thought thought to have evolved from shown common cells or parasitic trematodes and cystodes evolve independently from trematodes then after the next slide general characters of platyelminthes the important characteristics feature of platyelminthes are point number 1 habit habitat free living common cells or parasitic forms point number 2 level of organization tissues organ grade of organization that is body cell aggregate into definite tissues and tissues make up organs point number 3 and germ cells point with the body divided into three germ cells ectoderms mesoderms and endoderms so the body is the triploblastic in nature point number 4 body form dorsal ventrally flattened usually with a, a small well defined uh, ventral surface bearing mouth or gonopores point number 5 body wall body unsegmented except in class cystoda point number 6 body cavity acellulomate that is without any body cavity a spaces between various org organs and filled with a special mesodermal tissues the mesenchymal or parenchymal cells point number 7 body adhesive structure like hooks spines and suckers and adhesive secretion common in parasitic forms point number 8 digestive system the digestive tract if present in incomplete without anus and digestive tract is absent in tapworms respiratory system circulatory system are absent point number 9 as skeletal system the fluid in the parenchyma networks maintains the body shape it is called hydroskeleton point number 10 excretory system it consists of peculiar phlegm cells proteinuria which are meant by excretion and osmoregulation the excretory product as a form of the ammonia so the platyhelminthes are the amnutelic point number 11 11 nervous system nervous system primitive ladder like comprises a pair of anterior ganglia with longitudinal nerves cords connected by transverse nerves point number 11 sense organs sense organs simple eye spots or photoreceptors in free living forms point number 12 reproductive system mostly monoecious hermaphrodite with complex reproductive system well developed gonads gonodocts and accessory organs x mostly devoid of yolk yolk produced separately in yolk or vitelline organs sexual reproduction by transverse bandry fusions occurs in most flatworms point number 13 fertilization internal fertilization may be cross or self in tapworms 
सेल्फ फर्टिलाइजेशन इज फाउंड पॉइंट नंबर फोर्टीन डेवलपमेंट डेवलपमेंट इज डायरेक्ट और इनडायरेक्ट लाइफ साइकिल इज कॉम्प्लिकेटेड इन मोस्ट फ्लैट वॉर्म्स विद वन और मोर लार्वल स्टेज द डिफरेंट लार्वल स्टेज ऑफ फैसूला हिफेटिका वन लार्वल स्टेज मेरा स्टीडियम नंबर टू लार्वल स्टेज एस्पोरोसिस्ट लार्वा नंबर थ्री लार्वल स्टेज रेडियल लार्वा नंबर फोर लार्वल स्टेज सर्केरियर लार्वा नंबर फाइव लार्वल स्टेज मेटा सर्केरियर लार्वा आर प्रेजेंट इन द टाइप वॉर्म्स एग्जाम्पल फॉर चीनिया सोडियम्स उनको स्फेयर लार्वा हेक्जाकेंथ लार्वा और सिस्ट सर्कस लार्वी आर फाउंड पॉइंट नंबर फिफ्टीन रीजनरेशन इट इज वेल मार्क्ड इन सोम फ्लाइट वॉर्म्स लाइक द प्लेनेरिया then after i discuss about classifications and types of classifications and types of classes so already the classifications of platyhelminthes these are divided into three classes class first turbularia example eugasia Planaria class second Trematoda example Fasciola hepatica or Cystosoma hematobiums class three Cystoda example Tinea soliums Tinea cyzinata Echinococcus granulosus. So I first of all I discuss about the class Turbularia. Turbularia. Example, Eugasia, Planaria. Another examples, Mesostoma. The general characters of Turbularia. These are number one characters. Usually, non-parasitic free living worms are called Planarians. Point number two, they are terrestrial. Marine or fresh water. Point number three: body unsegmented, flattened and covered with ciliated cellular or sensitial epidermis. Point number four: mouth, ventral, intestine by muscular pharynx. Point number five: suckers absent. Point number six: mostly hermaphrodite. Some reproduce asexually. and development usually direct so you can see the one of example of planaria you can see the structure of the planaria so the important feature planaria also known as tugasia lives in flat fresh water mostly ascavenger also feed on protists hermaphrodites in nature has a simple brain ganglia and nervous system plus two eye spots it has great power of regeneration class Trematoda, example, Fasciola hepatica, Cystosoma hematobiums. The general characters of Trematoda, these are as follows. Point number one, they are ectoparasite and endoparasite flatworms called fluics. Point number two, body usually unsegmented, dorsal ventrally flattened, leaf-like, tegument. thick but without cilia point number 3 suckers and sometime hooks present point number 4 alimentary canal with anterior mouth simple pharynx and two main branches point number 5 and three pairs of longitudinal nerve cords point number 
mostly monoecious development direct in ectoparasite or indirect endoparasite with alternation of hosts so you can see the structure of fasciola hepatica the fasciola hepatica is uh, uh, commonly known as liver fluke adult fasciola hepatica is found in the liver and bile duct or sheep goat which has which are its primary host the secondary or intermediate host is a pond snail the fluic is hermaphrodite but there is cross fertilization it causes a disease known as liver rot or fasciliosis the infection animal the infected animals feels great muscular weakness resulting in muscular pain that liver enlarges and the bile ducts are blocked the disease may prove fatal to animals next example sister soma hematobiums so you can see the structure of sister soma hematobiums sister soma is commonly called the blood fluid as it lives in the hepatic portal system and mesenteric blood vessels of human beings its intermediate host is a snail the male carries the female permanently in the gynecophoric canals cystosoma shows well marked sexual dimorphism after fertilization the female leaves the male and lays egg in the smaller blood vessels cystosoma causes cystosomiasis the symptoms of the disease are diarrhea anemia enlargement of the liver and spleen pain and fever the disease can be prevented by not taking contaminated water the next class is classes 3 cystoda example tenia soliums tenia sezinata or echinococcus granulosus sus the general characters of cystoda point of one they are endoparasitic flatworms called tapeworms body segmented elongated flat ribbon like structures point number 3 is collex with suckers or hooks or both point number 4 no elementary canal no sense organs point number 5 each mature segment or proglottids monoecious with male and female organs point number 6 life cycle complicated involving one or more intermediate hosts embryos with hooks you can see the structure of tinea soliums tinea solium is commonly called the pork type worms it is found in all those countries where pork is taken as food the adults 
of tinea sodiums are parasite in the small intestine of human beings primary host and its larva is found in the muscles of the pig mostly secondary host the tapeworms doesn't have alimentary canals the digested food of the host is diffused directly to the general body surface tinea sodium is hermaphrodite and there is self fertilization the body is divided into three parts one is collex second neck third strobula a the top of the scorex lies a cone like rostellum the rostellum bears at its base about 22 to 32 small curved chitinous hooks placed in the into circlets hooks of the posterior circlet are so what is smaller than those of the anterior one on the middle part of the scorex there are present four cup like muscular suckers the suckers and hooks are the organs of attachments the strobula consist of immature mature and gravid proglottids proglottids show pseudo metamorphisms means the external segmentation if any animals the body is only externally segmented and this is called the pseudo metamorphisms if the animals the body can be externally or internally both segmented and this is called metamorphisms show tinea sodiums are pseudo metamorphisms both mouth and anus are absent tinea sodiums causes disease this is known as the taniasis this disease can be characterized by the such system symptoms and abdominal pain anemia false appetite and indigestion you can see the tinea sodium scolex a scolex magnified b frontal view of scolex c a small hooks d large hooks next you can see the structure of echinococcus granulosus the echinococcus granulosus the dog type worms it lives as an endoparasite in the intestine of dogs cats and foxes some man serves as an incidental host the dog type worms consist of a scorex neck and strobula strobula consist of three or four proglottids one immature or two mature and one very large gravid proglottids man acquires infection by playing with pet dogs so you can see the structure of echinococcus granulosus parasite next example you can see the structure of tinea caesinata tinea caesinata is commonly called the beef type worms it 
lives in the human intestine of beef eating persons its intermediate host are cattle and buffaloes it is larger than tinea sodium it body is divided into scolex neck and strobila the scolex bears and food adhesive shakers but it does not have rostellum and hooks its infection occurs by taking under cooked beef conclusion after going through the above accounts and above discussions organisms of the phylum platyhelminthes are ribbon shaped shaft bodies and are dorso ventrally flattened from top to bottom they are simplest bilaterally symmetrical animals platyhelminthes are one of the largest animal phyla after arthropods mollusks and quadrupeds the important reference book you can see on my screen next thanks